<sighs> Alright. Hello everybody, welcome back. It's time for Maggie. And we started with Abaddon. <laughs> How fitting of a character to start with Abaddon as Maggie, the one who starts the runoff based around red hearts. <laughs> so, our four red hearts have been traded away for six black hearts. We have a substantial damage increase. And fear shot. So you know what? I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. I was going to because, you know, I lost all four red hearts and that kind of ruins Maggie's uh, early game min-maxy kind of plays that I could take advantage of, but you know, those min-max plays, if they had paid out with Abaddon, I would not complain, so starting off with that and saving us the five minutes it would take to possibly get Abaddon, I won't complain about. Let's find out what's in our item room. Possibly an active item? It's Epic Fetus, which I am going to pass up on because it's garbage. It's garbage. I know you guys haven't seen Epic Fetus in a while, or at least on my videos, but there's a reason for that. I like taking Epic Fetus. It's boring as hell, guys. It's slow. It's like a... You think for one of the... I mean, I would, I would say the most powerful item in the game. They're like, no, that's Mom's knife. No! I would argue that Epic Fetus is the most powerful item in the game. And I think Epic Fetus has been the most powerful Isaac item. Well, that's unfortunate. That's even more unfortunate. Fuck our pills. Uh, it's been the most powerful item in the game since it got introduced in Wrath of the Lamb. I don't think it's ever been really toppled, and it's more so to do with not, like, overall DPS, because DPS varies depending on your run, your damage stat. You know, you could say that Mom's Knife is good because it deals constant damage. You could say that Late Tech X is good because it deals constant damage. Brimstone is good because it deals constant damage. Epic Fetus removes, like, a third of Me Mega Satan's fight with the same damage you would have on an overpowered Brimstone run. Like, it's just fun. It's just powerful. I'm playing horribly for starting with Abaddon, and I'm beginning to feel a little shamed. However, we got our speed back at a much, much greater speed. We have basically ga gained our original speed upgrade and our speed downgrade back. On top of one another. We will use the moon card right away. Hope for not red fires, but bombs are something I'm interested in. I was hoping for like thin odd mushroom. <laughs> take a take a 0.9 damage decrease. Or well technically damage multiplier for a substantial tiers upgrade here. But you know. I haven't seen thin odd mushroom appear in a secret room for a bit. Kind of unfortunate, but you know what? It's what it is. I'm still happy with this run. I'm still very happy with the way this run is going right now. Go down first. I, I do look absolutely fantastic. She styled her hair all nice. She still got the bow going on. She's rocking the horns real well. You got a Horf pill. Our pill rotation is garbage, but that's an apple. That's a tears upgrade. With our pill rotation, I am going to say a large and, you know, overly zealous NO to the little baggie because so far we've had zero good up pills except for the speed up, but the speed up is given by default for Maggie. And every other pill we've had is bad. In some way or another. It's good in some way or another, but it's bad in most ways. Just open this. I was gonna save the key. Much like he would save the date for a marriage. But I decided against it because I was hoping I would get money, Cricket's head, Steven, Guppy's head, more keys. I mean, golden chests have their value, on this type of run anyway, have their value over an item room. And I realize that's probably one of the stupidest things you've ever heard someone say, but in, think of it in theory. On sale, seven cents can get you an item from the shop. Cricket's head... And and Steven or Guppy's head or any of the chest items, rune bag, mystery sack, over the course of a whole run, have more value than most of the treasure pool. <sighs> have I proven my point yet? <laughs> Was it a smart play to get seven cents and what a bomb 
over the brown nugget? I think so. Had we not gotten a key for brown nugget, I would have been happy. And I know what you're thinking. Well, that same key could be used for the shop that you're talking about spending the money that you got from the chest at. Yeah. But what if I found the other... What, what if I only had one key? Or two keys, rather. Would, on this run, would I rather get a golden chest or an item room? I think I'd rather get a golden chest some of these times. Ace of Hearts could be good if we find a room that is just, you know, exploding with consumables and pickups and chests and stuff. I will go right in here, pop in, and we'll get a... To see what I was talking about? I was going to say if that gave me that, I would take this because it's a little bit better than what we are currently rocking because we have the money. That's a bad decision. Ace of Spades, far better than Ace of Hearts. Shit. Shit, what was I saying? God damn it. Now I'm gonna be real mad about that one. I know, use Ace of Spades, I got it, but there's nothing to turn anything into a key. And I would rather not, I would rather, okay, here's, here's another bit of contrast for that same conversation. Would I rather use, open a golden chest so badly that I would turn any consumable, a single consumable, into a key? And the, the answer is probably no. So we're gonna see if there's anything else possibly laying around on the floor. We could do one of these majiggies. We could end up walking away with like six keys here if we if we have good luck. <sighs> Shit. Fuck. Be something. I've been in there. God damn it. Now I'm out of bombs too. Okay. Oh my Jesus. There was a bomb in the shop. Okay, I have a place. So it's not going to be your typical Maggie min-max. Because I'm not min-maxing using my HP. I'm going to min-max using my... My Ace of Spades to get a key. So I can open a single golden chest because I know that golden chest will pay out well for me. Because that is the way our Jesus respects me. I will take two of the bombs. I will take all of the bombs. And we will walk away with five keys. And a world card. See? Okay. Alright. Moving on up. 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 Where was the gold chest? That's the shop. Emperor is probably better. Where's the sh where's the golden chest? It was to the left, to the left. Put all my boxes in a in a in a box to the left. It's a single half heart. Awesome. There's three minutes of my life I'll never get back. In a key that I'll never get back. I love the apple. Is the apple getting as much love as I think it deserves? I don't know. But I think it deserves all the love. That is amazing. That is, however, not amazing. And so we're going to actually rock a, rock, a, rock a, hopefully, an angel room run with Abaddon. Which is interesting. To say the least. Ah, but a trap room. Uh, well, first and foremost, it's 100% worth it to open these. I miss my four, my uh, my four box, my four chest room. I do miss my four chest room. I haven't seen it for a bit. There we go. So we actually broke even, except got money. Broke even on keys, got money. Thank you, bomb bag. You paid out awful early. I appreciate that. This is a bucket. Oh, God. 
Yikes. Yes. There's more. No! The pill rotation, guys. The pill rotation. I can't. I can't take this pill rotation. It's really bad. You think I'm gonna take Little Baggy with these pills? Little Baggy should make all pills good if you're gonna convert everything to pill. That's a little powerful. I, I take that back. That would be stupid. Oh, God. Do it! Just explode the chain reaction. Thank you. That's all I wanted in life. As well as going all the way around for a single bomb. I cannot believe that just happened. I'm actually in a little bit of shock that that actually occurred. I bounced him into myself. Alright, half hard boys. Half hard, here we go. Why is he saying half hard boys? Because if I get a devil deal, I'm depending on what it is, I might have to take it. Or not! Because fuck my life, right? Six. No, Cuba me. Oh, God, it's a bah. That is garbage. One of the worst items in the entire game. And I mean that unsarcastically. It's one of the worst items in the whole game. It's actually just garbage. Garbage, bad, bad garbage. I remember when Rebirth first came out and everybody thought Abaddon removed your ability to have red hearts. I also remember that everybody thought that it just converted all your current red hearts into black hearts instead of just giving you six. Back in the day, back in the day. Oh, and I don't have time for you right now. This room is still just trash. Thank you for allowing me to actually get to my damn tinted rock. Bombag, you are doing wonders, my friend. Eh, well, five free bombs, I guess. And it could be argued it's better, but... Ba, ba, ba. Ah, moon card. Okay, here's my plan, though. Like, moon card is definitely better for, like, the whole I'm gonna skip boss rush stuff. Emperor is better just for I'm going to get to boss rush stuff. Some of that weird place mentally. I don't have the money. That's that's probably why I couldn't do that. And I'm not bombing the donation machine, guys. You can't make me. I'll tell you what. Oh, wait, no, that was... Wow. That's just the Ace of Hearts or whatever card up there. I was going to say, I'll go back and see what that other card was, but that's actually just like an Ace of Hearts or Ace of, Ace, of, Ace of Diamonds, I think it was. Ooh, my favy. It's my favorite. Now you want to give me an ace of clubs. Or not ace of clubs, you idiot. An ace of, uh, hearts. Um, you can find yourself the nearest fire and burn yourself in it. Ouroboros worm. I love you. 
I think you're wacky. You're cool. You're a great reference. But you're trash. You're good with Azazel. That's about it. Not because he gave him like a plus four range. Ooh, a starty start. Ah, the tractor beam. That's another tiers upgrade. Oh, the guppy. Okay, it's, it was worth it in some form because we have a bunch of keys. And I do, do not mean a bunch of keys. I just realized we only had five. I thought we had 16. I got my bombs and keys mixed up. But that's still not a bad decision. We got more keys now. I'm gonna get Magic Mush right here. I should have optimized that. I'm not min-maxing properly. I know. Penta not min-maxing properly? Oh my god. Or not properly, but not uh, efficiently. By pushing, by using only one bomb and pushing that chest into the other shrooms and stuff. Yeah, I know. This is, it was a stupid, not optimal play, but whatever. Optimal schmoptimal. That's not even a word. Optimus Prime. That's not even a word. I mean, they are. I mean, Optimus isn't a word. Prime is a word, though. Optimus is an imaginary character created by Warner Brothers. Come on. Fistula. Dude, if you just want to, like, give me Pisces in my next item room, I'd be stoked. <gasps> oh my! Okay, Jesus! Mother of God! Stop it. Stop it right now, worms. You gotta calm down. Listen to Ricky Martin. Live the Vita Loca. Come on. The Ludicolo Cola? God damn it, it's a Pokemon reference, and it's not even an actual Pokemon reference, it's a fake Pokemon reference. It's the only thing worse than real Pokemon references are fake Pokemon references. That's not what I want! I want the thin- well, I don't even want the thin mushroom right now. I don't know what I want, actually, to be perfectly honest. I don't know. What do I want right now? I mean, Pisces. That's what I want right now, but I can't because I don't have- I already got my item room. On my next item room, I want Pisces. That's a arcade. An arcade, if we're going to be gr grammatically correct here. A wheel of fortune! Fatow. Fatow. It's like you're not gonna block me off to get that chest. You have like two seconds to disappear, creep, and then I'm out. We haven't had a red heart all run, have we? That's very strange to not have gotten an HP upgrade this far. We are in the caves too, and we haven't had a HP upgrade. That's awesomely strange. Not beautiful and strange, the somewhat undervalued Mudvayne track that I, I do like. That's not good at all. I could do it, but I don't feel like it. Is it worth it? Is it worth to pay 15 cents to get an HP up out of a pseudo HP up out of the uh, the Soul Collector? Not really. That's our third justice. I'm happy about it. I'm not disappointed or disapproving in the choice. Oh, Tractor Beam versus Chubb. Tractor Beam versus Chubb. Tractor Beam makes Carrion Queen and Chubb some of my favorite fights. Because it's like, I win. A range up. Fantastic. Get out of here. I need to I need to hurry it up if I plan on doing this whole boost rouge thing. And I'm... I... Tried to back out. You guys probably saw it there. You probably saw the hesitation. I tried to back out of it. I didn't want to do this room. But I'm going to do this room. And I will feed Bumble Coin. But you really need to hurry up on the eating coin, buddy. That whole eating coin thing you do, it's got to be a little faster, my friend. Because I am on a, a rush. I'm on such a rush for Boss Rush 
that I'm gonna make no rush references. I'm so rushed. And I'm also most likely going to skip the entire next floor if I have to. The Hanged Man is fine. It can get us a bunch of consumables out of here, but I don't care enough. Don't care enough to try. Don't care enough to pay attention. I will pop that. It was probably not worth it, but... Key for two bombs. I'm not interested. I don't have my Emperor card. <laughs> Wait, how did I... How the hell did I... Oh, my dear fuck. Oh! Sometimes you're an idiot. Other times you're still an idiot. Life advice with Penta. Feed it. Monstros, I don't have time for you, buddies. I really... I love you. You're some of my favorite people in the world. But I don't have time for you. I don't have time for you. Hurt me! I don't care! I don't have time for you! On this tiny room, or tiny monstro room bullshit. Get out of here, monstro. Monstro! You don't understand me, compadre. This is a mistake. I knew this room had nothing, but yet I went in it. I always do that. I know the rooms have nothing in them, but I yet go in them because I'm silly and dumb. And, uh, who don't need the bomb. I got 41 of them. Don't need the bomb. I'm not gonna make it to boss rush because I can't find my way. Da. Ooh, ah. Yeah. No. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna beat this boss and mom in 20 seconds. Well, it was worth it. I could at least skip the entire cathedral or womb 2, which I'm a fan of. Ace of Hearts could be fun if there was a bunch of bullshit laying on the ground. That was... Dude, don't talk to me. Don't... Don't even talk to me. I don't want anyone to talk to me right now. Hey, look, an Emperor card. Oh, that's my Emperor card. The Mitre. The Mitre! The pen is not mightier than the sword. I tried. It failed. Let's move on. That's better. Out of the choices I had there, it was the better choice. Doesn't mean it's the happy choice. I love scapular just fine, but... Should start doing devil deals more. I should just go... I should just change the way I play. I should just change... I should just change and just take items that I don't think are good to be like all the other Isaac players.
take horrible items, still win, be victorious. Oh, but it's due, but it's gonna have it's not worth it, but I'll be but I'll be able to get a better devil deal later down the line. Well it's not worth it, don't spend your fucking HP. <laughs> That's a bad influence on the community. If it's bad for you, don't take it. If it's not gonna help you win, don't take it. Bumbo, take all of this. I don't understand that logic. I used to follow that logic back when I was like not really a novice, but when I was still like not at the skill level I am now with Isaac, or at least the knowledge level, I wouldn't say skill level, knowledge level of Isaac, I'd say I have more knowledge of the game than I do have skill at the game. But then again, I'm, I'm not exactly the world's greatest twin stick shooter player. Isaac just happens to allow me to use memory and like simple inputs and mechanics to my favor, whereas other games don't. I mean, card against humanity, because otherwise I'd be a stupid person. Petrified poop, petrified poop, petrified poop, where are you? Petrified poop, petrified poop, where are you, where are you? I don't know, but I guess there's some validity to it, because, like, and obviously I don't, I don't base, you know, my channel off of its, its you know, realm of success. I don't need to be successful to be happy with the way that my content goes. But at the same time, when I think about it, I'm like, all the other Isaac guys who put out as much content as me, or even less content than me, are more popular than myself. And maybe it's because of the devil deals. Maybe it's because people like to see plays that they themselves make. And maybe don't people don't like seeing angel rooms. Maybe, maybe I got it wrong all along. Who knows? Maybe. Just maybe. Yeah, I know. It seems like a silly thing, but it is possibility. It is a possibility. That is sometimes that is how analytics work. It's the sad truth of it. If people want to see something enough, they'll they'll you know they'll seek out that. It's, you know, I there are people out there that play similar games that I play, and I don't watch them because of the way that they play them. Maybe they don't play them to my particular tastes, or maybe they in my opinion, play them poorly, or they don't understand the game and it makes it unfun to watch. I don't know. YouTube's a weird place. Say, say YouTube and Twitch, any uh, form of media consumption is a very weird space to be in because obviously you don't want to be just like a big rich YouTuber, a big rich streamer. You just want to have fun, or at least my, I just want to have fun. But at the same time, if people aren't engaged, and I do have people that are engaged and I love all of you, but if new people aren't like consistently being engaged, you have to ask yourself the question, what am I doing wrong? Or, am I doing something wrong? And I mean, there's some validity to saying, yes, I'm doing something wrong. And I don't think that's just, like, standing around paying attention to just the analytics, because let's face it, I don't pay attention to my analytics page at all. Probably should. That's probably point number one on what I'm, what mistake I'm making, is I'm not paying attention to my analytics page. I don't know my main demographic anymore, because it changed, like, eight months ago. I know... Oh, fuck. I know I primarily cater to people between the ages of 18 and 35. I know that's my major demographic, and I do know that I have younger people watching, I have older people watching. But I know my major demographic, the, the like, majority of my people, which I believe the last time I looked at the analytics, which was, again, like, eight months ago, I don't really care. Uh, my major demographic was, like... 65% of my total viewer base was within those ranges. Uh, which I believe to be the majority vote. You have to be above 50% or, you know, whatever. Or the primary percentage holder. But still, I asked myself the question, maybe I should pay attention to that stuff. Maybe I should start, maybe I should cater my content around those numbers. Maybe I should make obscure, oh, I already do make obscure references, and I guess that's why those people of those ages are engaged. But as well as, like, what if people, uh, I don't know. What if a video where I had a devil deal, going back to that stupid conversation, what if, what if the videos where I have devil deals and have taken devil deals have a higher retention rate because I took a devil deal than if I took an angel deal and people clicked away because I took an angel deal? You never know. It sounds like a conspiracy theory. A conspiracy theory, I understand that it does. Trust me. 
before I got into the YouTube game and the streaming game, I thought that those numbers were all just kind of shim-sham, political, blah, blah. But they're actually a real thing. I don't know. Just maybe, just maybe. Who knows? I don't really want this trinket. All I'm saying is there is a possibility. It sounds like a conspiracy theory, but there is that odd possibility that yeah, people people are more engaged or possibly more soaked into the content as itself when those types of things occur. Well, be it, maybe it's the opposite. It could very well be the opposite. Maybe people are more into my runs where there are angel deals instead of devil deals. Could be the complete opposite. Maybe when people see me take a devil deal, they click away. I don't know. I'm thinking about this YouTube's analytics shit lately and it has nothing to do with like my content because I don't consume I don't create content around those numbers obviously as I kind of already explained I don't really care about those numbers to the, the greater deal obviously I do because they, they mean the future success of my channel but I don't know it just brings to question that whole yeah am I doing this right correctly you know, I don't know. And if I'm not doing it correctly, does that bother me? And I guess the answer to that is no, it doesn't. Science shot, I haven't had in forever. I cannot explain how happy I am to have it right now. I haven't had the sign, I haven't had the little horn in probably, I think my last greed run. Correct me if I'm wrong, if there was an episode where I had it last and you guys remember that, obviously let me know. Oh, PhD, just in time. Just in time for a pill rotation to turn into not so bad. <sighs> I don't know. I'm already taking way too long on this run. We haven't even made it to the womb yet. We haven't even fought mom yet and we're not. We're at 30 minutes. So much for that sub-30 run again, god damn it. And why bring it up? I don't know! Because that's just what I do. I needed something to talk about, and that was on my brain. So talked about it. If you don't care to listen, don't listen. I do know one analytic of my channel, and that's that, you know... And that's because it's not a YouTube analytics thing that tells me I have, you know other means of telling me this, but I do know that, like, 35% last day, last number, the last time I checked, 35% of my current viewer base click away less than five minutes into the video, or only watch five minutes total of the video, either one, whether they click away five minutes in or only watch five total minutes, which if you're talking about a 45-minute, 50-minute Let's Play video, that just goes to show that you guys are just clicking around the video, seeing if I win, and then leaving. Which, you know, more power to you. Feel free to do and consume my content however you wish, so long as you enjoy it and have fun. But at the same time, I always felt that that was, like, a stupid way to watch a YouTube video. I understand not everybody has time, but, like, I never, I guess I never understood the ideal behind, like, okay, this guy spent an hour making a video for me to enjoy. Guy or girl, whoever. Uh, this person spent X amount of time creating this video. I'm gonna click through it real fast, see the see the fun bits, and then leave. I don't know. I don't know. Weird conversation. Weird conversation. I'm trying to find a fi trying to find a derail, and I'm completely missing it. Trust me, I'm trying to find trying to find one. Glass cannon could be fun, but not on this run. This just does not scream a glass cannon run. A hole. Faremons. Hmm. 
Oh, come on. There you go. Mr. Mega. No! I actually knew it was going to be you. 110% knew it was going to be you. Now we're now we're rush boys. Oh, it's another justice. It's another justice. That guy had so much health. Oh, that's okay. Was upset at first, then I'm petrified, thinking how I spent so many years. Without you by my side. And then it came to my head. Or then it came to my thoughts. That it was not a cricket's head. And I moved on. And I learned how to get along. And I kept on. Going through the womb. Gotta look up. Failing at this song. It's okay. Just turn around now. Gotta finish this run so I can make some coffee. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> and then Guile's theme out of nowhere. <laughs> God damn it, me. Oh, I shouldn't be allowed to talk to people. <laughs> I should not be. I should not be allowed near a microphone on the internet. Oh. That or I'm the actual perfect representation of a person on the internet. I don't know. Infested is fine. Found pills is fine. I wish there was a transformation for that, but there isn't. A speed up is fine. And... Oh, no! Curse of the blind! Curse of the blind! Oh, curse of the... Oh, yeah, filigree feather. Leftern. Immaculate Conception is fine. Uppern. The Breath of Life. In the Glyph of Balance. It was a good choice. It was a good choice. I want to know what the right one was. I know the right one was fucking Sacred Heart. I know it was. Curse of the goddamn blind. Get out of here! Ah, infamy. I still have a hard time not calling that just Mask of Infamy. I know I, real I realize I called it Infamy this time, but that's because I thought beforehand as I picked it up. I was like, wait a second, nope, that's just Infamy. Mask of Infamy's the boss. And Micro Masks are the bad guys. Thank you, Bumbo. Appreciate it. Y'all want a good episode? Go watch episode 36. I can't believe that was over 100 episodes ago. That's insane to think about. Go watch episode four, uh, 36, rather. 36. If you want a good episode involving Bumbo and possibly some of the most fun I've had in an Isaac run. And one of the, some of my best commentary, I would say. Unlike this episode, which is just a trash fire. But, you know, sometimes you gotta set the garbage on fire. You know, conserve, uh... Space and time. Save the Klingons. You know how it works. Empress is actually tempting. Just use the fucking Emperor card. What am I what am I even doing? I was gonna look for the secret room. For some reason. I had a reason when I when I entered the floor and then I forgot it and I kept going anyway. What was I gonna go to a secret room for? I don't even know. Don't even know. I wish I did. Bye bye mama. No deal. <gasps> That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna increase my chance by bombing a dude. A dude majiggy. Ah. Yeah! Alright, we're fine. He'll die eventually. That or he'll just remain really terrified for the next several minutes of his life. 
Oh! How has my damage remained the same? This is insanity. The moon card. Thank you, game. I appreciate that. It was a good help. Y'all want to help me find Satan? I'd be happy about it. Rune bag. Rune bag, rune bag, rune bag. Don't hit them and walk away. Don't hit them and walk away. They get pissed off and start lasering your ass. Oh, God. It's just science. And I failed. Hello, Satan. Incoming comments about how oh, this run wouldn't have been this run would have been sub thirty had you taken fucking Epic Fetus. Uh, probably not actually. Epic Fetus is a very slow item. Bumbo, rip him, rip him, buddy. Shred, 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 my friend. Shred, shred, shred. By the way, how did everybody like the uh, the race with Alexa Kid? It was speaking of trash fires. It was. Garbage. It was awful bad. Terrible, terrible, bad, awful ball. Boffle, boffle. Boffle, boffle, boffle. The new, uh, the new sheep version of Drawful that, uh, I'm not even, I don't even know what to say. Yera, right before the dark room, are in Jesus. You can't treat me this good, my friend. Oh, my good God. Push, push, Bombito. Ooh, Cricket's body. Dr. Fetus as well. So many HP. So much Guppy. So much Penny. Oh, wait, no, it's Dark Room. It doesn't actually do anything on Dark Room. Alright, you gotta be real careful here to avoid Dr. Fetus. Alright, so take. No. Take Experimental Treatment. Okay. And take Guppy. So HP downgrade, everything else went up. Awesome. Okay. I mean, there's, there's been worse dark room poles. Been worse dark room poles. We got Cricket's body. We got Cricket's body and like a substantially amazing uh, experimental treatment. It was an all stats upgrade. With a health downgrade tied to it, so I'm happy about that. Why did I not take Contagion? Can someone explain to me why my brain just was like, Contagion, that's garbage, it's bad! When I know clearly it's a decent item, at least. At, at its very most, it's a good item. At its very worst, it's a decent item. It's never bad. Or rarely bad, if bad. I mean, not all items can be bad. Oh, that knockback. That Cricket's body knockback. That was... Speaking of pinballs, even though we weren't speaking of pinballs, but still. Oh, the black bean. I recently had somebody comment that they said that the black bean was, like, to them, the worst item in the entire game. And I don't... I, I, I understand the disdain for the black bean and some of the bean items in general, but, like... The black bean, the worst item in the game? Like, it doesn't do anything negative to you. In fact, the black bean has zero negative effects. It appears in chests, or it appears in, uh, I believe it appears in just item rooms, right? It's just an item room, room uh, item. And it's poison on damage. I mean, it's not a very good item, but the worst item in the game? Come on, guys. I mean, okay, you're, you're obviously, you know, Penta, he's... Always sitting there screaming about how, you know, he's shouting to the sky about, yeah, you're entitled to think every item is good and every item is bad, your own self-worth or whatever the fuck you want to decide that your is your criterion for it, but... But still, like, Black Bean, I just, I don't see it, personally. You feel free to think it's the worst item in the game, and I will not argue with you. We can have discussions about it if you wish. About, like, why you think that. Maybe it did something. Maybe you actually know of a negative effect. Or maybe there was a time that it was actually bad, bad. But, like, the worst item in the game? I can't put my brain to that. I cannot put my brain to think the Black Bean is 
the worst item in the game. Hell, I would... I like Kamikaze just fine. I like Kamikaze quite well, in fact. I would even say Kamikaze is worse than the Black Bean. Because Kamikaze has a negative effect. It can kill you. Black Bean cannot kill you. Black Bean cannot do damage to you. In fact, the only thing it does is poison enemies when you, you know, take stupid damage. And as bad as poison people think poison is, it's still not really that bad. It's still damage. So it, what you can say is that Black Bean actually does more damage than some of the other bad items in the game. Quote unquote bad items in the game. You know, obligatory air quotes when you're talking to me about a bad item being in the game. But still, it's, I don't know. The Black Bean. It's a fine item. I'm never happy when I see it in a crawl space or a an item room. Or I'm never thrilled anyway, but like... Here's the thing. If they made a bean transformation that like con combined all the bean effects and maybe gave you the stompy thing where if you... You know, if you took damage, it did the wait what shockwave. Like, if they did something like that with it, I could see it being... All the bean items being knocked up a couple notches on the, you know, bad item list. There are definite ways to improve the items, or at least, you know, there are different ways where they, they lack compared to other stuff, but... Like, I wouldn't even call Butterbean the worst item in the game. It, it cannot do anything bad to you. To be a worst item in my, you know, point of view anyway, it actually has to be, like, bad. <laughs> like, it has to literally have a way to kill you, or... I don't know. I don't know. Don't know where I'm at. And yes, we're gonna we're gonna forget me now the floor. Don't don't you worry. We're gonna forget me now the floor. Because we've already gone on this long. Why not go on a little longer? But before we do, I want DDL. I want to find a room with enemies. I take fast bomb, sure. There we go. And I I'm not gonna be able to die, but I'm gonna try to die. That's going to make it even harder. So what we're going to do is we're going to bomb. Oh, Polaroid. It's not even the Polaroid. That's fucking Celtic Cross. Damage up. And Holy Mantle. And Seraphim. Nice! Far better than I would have expected. Thank you, Lazrags. Lazrags, a much better item than people think once you uh, do all your unlocks and stuff. It's actually a fairly good item once you get all your unlocks, because then it doesn't matter what character you're playing as, because like I'm technically... Starting the run as Maggie, so this is still a Maggie victory on our thing. Bumbo, just eat away, my friend. Eat away. Eat away faster. I'll actually take that. Thank you. Dude, like, I could have used a Degas rune. I'm not gonna, though. I'm not gonna. I have to actually... I have to, like... I have to do what I'm planning on doing. Like, I already had a plan. You can't make me change that plan just because you want craziness. Could I have killed the lamb twice? True. Oh. Probably not a good idea to take that. I didn't think about it until afterwards. <laughs> but you know what? High speed cursed uh, cursed eye. Actually, not terrible. Nod Leaf is pretty pointless. Piggy Bank is also pretty pointless. That's kind of why I ignored it. 
should have picked it up just in case it was a D100 play at some point in the next chest or two, but... I'm also, like, thinking, nah. Oh, those Cricket's Body Science Shots. Cricket's Body Razor Blade Sciences. Black Hole is fun. Oh, wait! And also, this tends to break my brain. Cursed Eye, uh, Tractor Beam. SMB Super Fan. There's not really anything bad you can say about this run. I mean, that's just. Now we're getting silly here. Don't care what you are, you're gonna get sucked. I don't care what the next item is. It wasn't anything, really. That was an interesting closet to have five red chests. Closet's one of my favorite afterbirth mechanics. I don't have keys, so you don't get sucked. Ah, it's a per throw. Per throw. What a great final chest to get. Oh wait, yeah, what a great final chest to get. Bumbo, screw off. Uh, you kind of ended up over there, my friend. I love it when it's the body last. It's almost never the body last, but it was the body last this time. And there's Sergio Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus with the Maggie run. We're going to be continuing the rotation onward to Kane next. It's gotta be Kane. Catch you later.